gonna show you guys how I made um, these striped denim shorts. These are not the ones from the beginning of the video. These ones are actually pink, blue, yellow, and green, whereas the first ones you saw were pink, red, yellow, and green. So anyways, um, I got these. These are some Levi's, just some jorts from the thrift store. So yeah, I basically painted the stripes on them and that's all I did. It's really not that complicated. I know some people are real arts and craftsy and some people is not me. So I wanted to like paint something on these but do something simple that I knew was like realistic for me to do. Like I'm not gonna try to paint a Picasso on my pants because you know, this is not gonna happen. Anyways, enough of that, so let's go ahead and talk supplies. You're gonna need, of course, denim shorts, a ruler to measure the distance between your stripes, glasses to mix your paint in, masking tape to make the stripes, and then, of course, you're gonna need paint. And a paint brush, and then I'm just using a pencil to mark on the pants with. And you're gonna need textile medium, which helps the paint stick to fabric. Then all I'm doing here is just making um, markings on the shorts with like an equal distance to place the tape on. And then just cut your tape and place it as straight as possible. Now I'm just going to mix my paint with the textile medium, which again I mentioned will help the paint stick to your I don't know what the mixing instructions were exactly, but they should be on the bottle, and you can find this at like Marshalls or Hobby Lobby. But you just pour the textile medium in, pour your paint in, and then mix it until it's like an equal consistency. Once that's all wrapped up, you can go ahead and start painting while doing your best to stay in the lines. Very elementary, um, should be pretty simple. I somehow managed not to stay in the lines, as you'll see in our movement but they still came out okay. So after letting them dry overnight, I went ahead and removed the tape and it looks pretty good. I will say somehow on some of them, the paint managed to sneak under the tape. Like if you look at the green on the right, you can kind of see where it's like not in line really, but it's okay, it doesn't really bother me. And yeah, that's pretty much the finished product. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I thought these shorts were so ugly when I first um, finished them. I thought they looked like clown pants. I mean, fitting for me, but it was just not what I envisioned. What I had envisioned before I finished these was actually more of like that. You know those striped shorts they have at like Urban Outfitters and PacSun now? They're kind of basic, but you know, it would be like a fun DIY, but that's not what I got. I definitely got Bobo the Clown. The only thing that honestly saved the outfit for me was the fact that I had this sweater that I picked up at the thrift store and it just happened to match them and then I put it on and then I realized it works. I cannot for, I cannot however vouch for how well they will do after you wash them. Um, I haven't watched these yet. If I watch them before I finish this video, I'll like, no, I'm not because I don't feel like it. Um, they should be washable. That's what the whole, fabric medium was for that um, you mix the paint with so it would stick to fabric. Just don't put them in the dryer. I mean, if you're putting your denim in the dryer, you honestly don't deserve the denim in the first place. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. I do plan on doing... What, what video did I plan on doing next?